Hey guys, Suze here. Welcome back to another one of our weekly keto recipes, keto cooking videos. This week is a special video. We're actually doing keto Super Bowl snacks and the best keto appetizers for a party or a game day. If you are into that, make sure you stick around for the video. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button and join the crew. All right, let's get into the video. I wanna catch the way. First up, we have this awesome low carb keto sausage pizza dip from Joy Filled Eats. I'll link the original recipe down below. So to start with over medium heat, I browned a pound of ground sausage. Now for this recipe, I used Jimmy Dean Italian sausage. Always check your carb count very carefully on sausage. And after I have that browned, I just took a pie dish, just a round casserole dish and added a block of sour, of excuse me, cream cheese. And I just spread that evenly on the bottom. On top of that, I added a half a cup of low carb marinara sauce. Now for this recipe, I used Reyes sauce for the first time and I am sold. I know it's very popular with the keto crowd, but it's the first time I've ever tried it. After I spread that evenly, I took a slotted spoon and used that to add my ground sausage to the top of that. Um, that was just easier than draining the grease out of all of it. To that, I topped it with a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and a fourth a cup of shredded parm. And then I added the entire thing to a 400 degree oven for 15 minutes. And then I did broil it a little at the very end just to give it a tiny brown texture to the top. While that was cooking, I went ahead and got some mini bell peppers. I'm using the orange ones and I'm just gonna slice those into kind of like little scoop size um, pieces and I'm gonna use that in place of chips and oh my gosh <laughs> this was so so good just the crisp refreshingness of bell pepper um, with this dip is just the perfect combination here it is after it comes out of the oven and then I just took a little bit out and portioned it into a bowl for dipping now my husband and I ate off of this for about three days um, I would definitely double this recipe for a crowd, but this was the perfect keto appetizer. Next up, we made these adapted version of Keto Connects Keto Pigs in a Blanket. I'll link the original recipe down below, but heads up, I tried it with the original recipe and it didn't work for me, so I had to adjust it. So I added a cup of mozzarella cheese to a microwave safe bowl, microwaved it for 30 seconds, took it out, mixed it, put it back in for another 15 seconds, took it out. Once I had the right texture, added three-fourths a cup almond flour to it, mixed that in pretty well before adding one egg. And then I mixed my egg in pretty well before adding a dry uh, mix of a fourth a teaspoon baking powder, a fourth a teaspoon garlic powder, a half a teaspoon sea salt, and then I also mix that with the spoon pretty well before um, oiling my hands really, really well. And this is a crucial step and tip that I think everyone should do because it just helps the dough um, become more pliable and not stick to your hands than I needed it. And then I just uh, went ahead and got a cookie sheet and lined it with parchment paper. And I went ahead and rolled out one dough, one dough ball to start with just to kind of see what I needed. I have my cut up hot dogs. I used Hebrew National 100% kosher beef hot dogs for this. And I used four of them and cut each one into three pieces. And so um, I just went ahead and made kind of a test one here to see how big of dough balls I needed to make. After that, I went ahead and separated the rest of the dough out, have 12 total. And then I found it was easiest to re-oil my hands and then take each uh, dough ball and kind of pancake them out into my hands and then put the hot dog piece on top of that. And then you just are gonna wrap the dough around it, kind of like a blanket. Some of these turned out perfectly, like this one, look how adorable it is. And some of them, like those other ones, look like they get dropped on a subway platform, but hey, <laughs> they all tasted great uh, and it's up to you how meticulous you would like to be with this. After I had those all um, stuffed, I took a half a teaspoon of Trader Joe's Everything But The ba 
pickle seasoning and I just plopped some of that on each one of them and then I just pressed it down into the dough so they would stick through baking. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees and I just baked these for 20 minutes. This is what they look like when they come out. Look how cute they are. I just love these and they were so super, super good. I plated mine up with some Primal Kitchen spicy ketchup because that is just my favorite, but you could use whatever dipping sauce you like. These are the perfect, perfect keto snack and would make a great keto lunch as well. Next up, I made another recipe from Keto Connect. This is their easy buffalo chicken dip um, and then served with sliced celery. So to start with, over medium heat, added a block and a half of cream cheese, just shy of a cup of the Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. And then I just stirred and melted those together. I did start out with softened cream cheese too to speed up that process. After those were combined, I added just shy of a cup of Ken's uh, Chunky Blue Cheese Dressing. Mixed that in really well. And then to that, I added three cups of shredded chicken. Now I used a rotisserie chicken, and just a heads up, um, I know the rotisserie chickens at Costco look really good, but every time I look at them, their marinade and the injection stuff that they put in them has sugar in it. So I never buy those. I actually got this one at like Publix or Bilo. Um, so just a tip, you know, even with the sugar marinade, it can fit into your micro macros. I just prefer not to get any with added sugar. So then I mixed that in really, really well. And then I added a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese to that. I did remove it from the heat for this step and mixed that in really well. And then I just grabbed an eight by eight baking dish and plopped all of the dip into that. And I topped it with another half a cup to a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. And I put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. And here's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. This is a whole lot of dip. <laughs> I put some of it in a separate little smaller dish and served it with some celery sticks. I think you only need one tray of this. I mean, I feel like this will last us forever. Um, seriously, it's a very hearty dip and very tasty. Now, this was my husband's favorite recipe. Oh my gosh, this is from Kendra Holly over at Peace, Love, and Low Carb. It's brilliant keto popcorn chicken served with a, a low carb honey barbecue sauce. So to start with, I took about a pound of chicken, cut it into bite-sized pieces, and I soaked it in heavy cream for about a day and a half. Then I took a shallow dish and added to that a fourth of cup coconut flour, a fourth of a teaspoon sea salt, and an eighth of a teaspoon black pepper. I took a beat up egg and another dish. And then my last dish, I added two cups of pork rinds, a teaspoon onion powder, a half a teaspoon garlic powder, and a half teaspoon smoked paprika. Got a cookie sheet, lined it with parchment paper. And then for the benefit of this video and you guys, I'm gonna take each one of these pieces of chicken individually and dredge them through the coconut flour and then through the egg and then through my pork rind mixture and then gently place it on the cookie sheet. Now, I only did this for the first tray of chicken. This recipe ended up yielding two trays. I only used egg on the first one. I have a one-year-old that's allergic to egg, so the second tray I made just with the coconut flour and the pork rinds. It was equally good, if not better, just for your information, in case you wanna try it that way. And if I were just making this during the weeknights, I would just plop all of this chicken and coconut flour and then all of that in egg and then all of that in pork rinds because I really don't have time for this individual chicken dredging that I'm doing for your benefit here. After I had it all lined up, here's what it looks like. Popped this into a 425 degree oven for 20 minutes. Look how golden that is. It looks just like the real deal fried chicken. This was so delicious. I plated it with G Hughes sugar-free honey barbecue sauce because that's what my husband loves. But I opted to dip mine and again, the Primal Kitchen spicy ketchup because it's my favorite. And there you go, guys. That's this week's keto cooking, keto recipes video. I hope it gave you some ideas for keto snacks to try or to even have as a keto lunch and some good keto Super Bowl food for you guys. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below because it helps it get seen by other people trying to follow a keto diet and live a keto lifestyle. And please subscribe to our channel for weekly keto videos. Bye, guys. Ooh.